G'day guys, I'm Joey from Jollop Lures and welcome to this week's episode. Now, with our rivers being absolute mud again uh, from the recent rain, that has put a halt to our bass videos. But don't stress, uh, because that just means one thing, it means we can get the mangrove jack season underway just that little bit earlier. Uh, this summer I'm gonna put a lot of time into the jacks uh, and we hopefully bring you guys some awesome content. So that's what we're doing here today, we're chasing some mangrove jack and let me tell you, it started off exactly how we wanted to this morning, so I won't spoil it anymore. You can check that footage out here now, but in the meantime, I'm gonna get back fishing. Let's catch some more. Jack. I hope you saw that guys, that was pretty close called there. I had the had the whack from him, I called it. Very next cast got him. Let's show you this cracking little jack. That is an absolute gorgeous little jack. He'd be high 30s that guy. But I don't think I've ever seen him in a prettier jack. The coloration on this thing is beautiful. There's the uh, the 4.2 inch bait junkie 
minnow in his mouth there. Three eight jigger, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Awesome. How good's that? Target species done. Let's let's get him back in the water. Sun's coming out now, it's starting to get warm, so it might fire these fish up. That mid morning, lunchtime tide change bite. Get a bit more bait flicking around, move it up shallow into those shady pockets. So I'm just targeting these eddy pockets um, in between all the snags. I'm alternating between the plastic that I got that fish on before and my hard body, but when you're snag bashing like this, it's pretty hard to beat the old hard body. Just little twitches, little pauses. Some retrieves will just do a straight crank. You see if that can get them excited. A good snag like that one I've just fished, I'll give it a few more casts. There's so many little spots for them to hide in. Roll the plastic through it a couple of times. Right, no one home there. Go over to the next one. Now normally doing this style of fishing, you wouldn't think a sounder, you need it to rely on it, but the water is quite dirty, normally it's crystal clear and you can see the depth you're in, and if you're in a foot of sand, there's no point in targeting that snag, so I'm using my hummingbird here just to see the depth, pure and split the depth, and I can see when the scattered bait come rolling through, there's little stools of herring coming through, so you know, know you're in the right areas. Um, like that snag looks really good. I'm in about seven, eight foot of water. I know that it's not going to be that up there. It's only going to be three or four, but it's definitely enough for a fish. So this style of thing, you definitely can rely on your sounders. Um, not using them to find the fish, but using them to locate those areas where the fish are going to hold. So definitely check out your sounder when you're doing this style of fishing. Oh, I thought that was a jack for sure the way he hit that. He just went donk. Anyway, um, can't be upset with some lovely flooded bycatch. I'm just going to show you. That's a four inch plastic, and look at that. He has absolutely swallowed that, and he's only like a just legal fish. Yeah, crazy fish, the old flooded. See you later, Mr. Floody. across the surface.
be water. Alrighty guys, that's the end of the session. She was a uh, bit of a grind for the rest of the day. Got that jack, I think at about 6.30 and just, I fished all day, I think it's like three o'clock now. Got two more jack bites. Been a real tough day, but it doesn't matter. Got me jack, that was the goal today. Come out and get the first jack of the season and uh, that's what we did. Now that's the little guy, that's the little guy that did the uh, damage. That's a, that's a bait junkie 4.2 inch minnow. Um, I've cut a little bit off the front, so it's probably just under four inches there now. Three eight jig head. Um, I was just fishing really light. Um, got the new Tatula 70. It's just my bass gear. This smallish jack, so just fish nice and light. Ten pound suffix 832, and I had 20 pound lead. That was more than enough to get him out of that boat. He did pull pretty good, so uh, tackle was more than up to the job. That's just a two to five Veritas tournament. I love that rod. It's become one of my favorites. You would have seen in previous videos, I've uh, caught some cracking big bass on that and it's a really, really lovely taper. Great crankbait rod and yeah, nice plastic rod. So there you go guys, that's the end of this video. If you enjoy this and you want to see more jack fishing this summer, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below. We'll catch you on the next one.